Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chink or Chinese. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my pregnancy. So, before I get into the video, I just wanna let y'all know, y'all, this pregnancy has been so good. So, 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 so good. Harlem was good too, but this one is good as well. Especially as, especially as though I'm doing this one like by myself, like, I didn't do all of it by myself, but I'm doing majority of it by myself. So it's doing really good. And I'm really like working on my mental health and stuff like that. So anyway, before I get into the video, make sure you guys like my video. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. If you're not subscribed to my video, then what are you doing? I don't know my video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, then what are you doing? Subscribe. And if you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So, yeah. Um, I look a little crunchy just a little bit because I did go to work today. And I have just been working, 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 working. These braids, they actually lasted a long time. She did a really good, a really, 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 really good job. Um, But I want to go back to her. Um, Only because... Mind you, she do a real good job. I love her work or whatever. But I was kind of upset when I wanted her to get my hair done. She told me one price two times when I asked how much it was the day. Like, you know, just to confirm, I'm like, hey, the deposit comes out, you know, the joint, right? And she like, yeah. And um, she just gave me a different price. And I'm like, I always tip for, like, for a majority of my services. I always tip. And I don't like, you know, give people to run around. So I kind of felt like that was weird that she changed the price when I was there. So I wouldn't go back to her. But they did last a long time. Like, she did a good job. I'm going to be taking my braids out very, very soon, though. Because, oof. Y'all. It's time for them to go. But anyways, y'all didn't come to this video to listen to me talk about braids, right? I know. So anyway, where should I start? Let me see. I wrote it down because I'm trying to be like more organized. And this is my book. This is my Zoom book. This is my China. You need to get on your Zoom book. Because I took a week off of doing YouTube. Um, I really remember when I took a week off of doing YouTube, any kind of content, because I had finals due. If you know, I'm in school. I had finals due. And this one man, he overdo everything that he published. Like every assignment he published, he just do too much with it. So I had his work do. Um, and I kind of wanted to put my stuff on this thing where it was like, this video is going to be like kind of like everywhere. Not too much organized, but this is just what's been going on. Um, yeah, so I kind of put myself on like a five week break. I'm mean not five week break, a five day break for the week. Um, just so I can, like, get myself, like, you know, back on track. Um, I've been very, 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 very tired. And I'm going to talk about that soon, too. Um, I've been really sleepy. So, it was like, I haven't really been waking up on time. I've been waking up on time enough to drop hard on to school. But, you know, and for me to get to work on time. But I haven't really been waking up on time. Like, I usually wake up at, like, 6, 6.30 in the morning. So, I can cook her breakfast. So, she don't got to eat the free breakfast. And I've been waking up at 8 o'clock. Like, 8 o'clock, I be having to get her breakfast still. But it's just, like, I be rushing. And it's really because I be so freaking tired. Like, this pregnancy is so different. I more so think it's different because, um... I think, really, it's different because when I was working... Like, when I was pregnant with Harlem and I was working, I wasn't working as much. Like, I was part-time and I would have, like, full-time hours sometime. Sometime... But I wouldn't have, like, a consistent full-time schedule, whereas though I'm always, always working full-time. Like, so, this is different. Like, I'm always working. I'm always moving. I don't, I sit down from a, I sit down, like, maybe 75% of my shift, depending on what, you know, airport I'm working at for the day. So, but, like, this pregnancy is really different. And it's like, I have a lot going on with this pregnancy. Like, I take care of a household. I had more responsibilities this time. So it was like, it's just like a change, but I'm really excited for it. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very, very excited. So I kind of took like a five day break. I turned Instagram off. I didn't delete it completely. So 
what I wanted to kind of do was fast. Um, I am a Christian, so I do like the fast and stuff like that. Like when things are getting rough, I'm stressed, anytime, anything like that. Or just like, you know, just because I want to fast or whatever, I fast. But being as though I'm pregnant, I can't really fast at all. So instead of like doing a fast, um, I kind of just cut off all distractions. And I limited myself to them. So, I mean, I guess you can kind of say it's fast, but not really um but yeah that's what i just decided to do since i couldn't do a regular traditional fast but um yeah so i cut my distractions off like instagram twitter i was still on tiktok but more so instagram and twitter because instagram is like one of my biggest problems i can be on there for hours tiktok is too but not so much because it's like after a certain amount of time i was tired of seeing the shadow look I be tired of seeing TikTok shop ads, so I like will get off. I'll I'll be on it maybe for like what 10, 15 minutes, maybe not even, cause like after a certain amount of videos, I'm tired of seeing ads. So I cut Instagram, and I told myself what I'm gonna do is just like I've been working a lot. I feel like I said a girl's work. Maybe I'm here. I don't know. Anyways, I've been working a lot on like discipline. I feel like this point in my life in this pregnancy, um, I'm really working on disciplining myself when it comes to a lot of things, um, like you know, relationships, friendships, all of that stuff, um, and just like self love in this aspect too. My pregnancy, like, this pregnancy is so different. Like I told y'all, it's so different. So I've really been working on that kind of stuff and just being focused on things that make me happy. <laughs> And it make me kind of, um, you know, just make me feel good. Like, I don't want to be stressed over spilled milk. I don't want to be stressed over things I can't really fix or whatever. Especially being as though I'm pregnant. Like, I am an overthinker. I overthink everything. Like, anything it is, I overthink it. I overthink so much. So, I'm trying to, like, get out of the habit of overthinking. And it's being, like, peaceful, like not being stressed, not having no extra, nothing on top of me because I do everything by myself. And I feel like sometimes like I don't give myself no grace. I don't give myself a pat on the back. I'm just always hustling and bustling and trying to figure out the next move, the next step. So I've really been working on that. And I say discipline as well because I feel like sometimes like you'll step back into places that you're not really supposed to be in. And I also feel like too like financial discipline as well has been like a factor in this stage that I'm in. Um, yeah, because it's like, it'll be times where it's like, I'll be like, oh yeah, I'll buy this. And like, I don't know, like I'm good with managing money. But sometimes like, for example, if I feel good, if I wake up feeling real good one day, I'll just spend money on like just stuff like I need, but not like on a high priority list of me. If you get what I'm trying to say. So I'm learning like how to like, you know, better discipline myself with money. Um, things that don't really deserve my company, just like a lot of stuff like that. So that's what I'm working on. And just limiting distractions, like I said as well. So with Instagram, I didn't spend as much time on there at all. Um, I would like look on there just to like promote my stuff or just like, you know, just be on it for a couple minutes or whatever. And that's pretty much it. I told myself I'm gonna lock in with myself and I'm gonna get on my Zoom because I have some things I wanna see get done. And I kinda told myself as well, like, for the next couple of days, while I limit my distractions, I want to put my all into my all and my thoughts into finishing my schoolwork, any late assignments I have, um, doing my finals and stuff like that, and coming up with a plan where as though it's like I can consistently do YouTube because I like doing YouTube, but it's just like sometimes like it don't always work out in my plans, and I think the biggest problem really is just because it's like I'm always dripping and running. And I think also because I need to get myself a camera. So I also been looking into that within these five days. I've been looking into just different cameras for beginner people who don't really know much about cameras. And just getting myself together because I feel as though I can be so much farther than where I am right now if I just put my mind to it. And another thing too I like to do is in the morning, I listen to motivational music. So that kind of gets me going like, you know, 
when I don't know. I just do that. I do that every day. I do that every day. And I try to read the Bible too as well. I read the Bible or I read this other Bible. It's like a little small, what's it called, whatever. I'll read that as well. And that kind of keeps me going. So during my five days as well, I was doing it. I was like really putting that work. I'm like, I can't keep stopping doing YouTube. I can't keep taking these breaks. I have to find a way where so I can keep going without stopping and I can reach all my goals with YouTube. Because like I always say, I want to be a mom where though I can work like a traditional schedule or I don't have to really like work a nine to five job. If I work a nine to five job, it would be just because like I want benefits and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it. Like that's one of my goals. But anyway, like I said, this video is just going to basically be like a life update, kind of what's been going on, pregnancy, all that kind of stuff or whatever. But I did write down like what I want to talk about. So like I said, for the next couple of days, I just been putting my stuff in my journal saying like, this is just my get on your Zoom journal, not my personal journal, my get on your Zoom journal. Write down like kind of like the blueprint, what I want to talk about, content and everything else like that just needs to get done because I'm trying to get to a bag. Like I'm 23 years old and I'm about to have two kids, two kids under two, two and under. Like, I'm trying to get on my Zoom. Like, I'm doing good. I'm not going to lie. I'm doing really good. But it's time for me to reinvent myself. And it's time for me to lock in until I get what I want to get where I want to be. So, what does it say? Y'all, and also, oh, my God, I be so out of breath. I don't know what it is. I think it's because the baby's so big, I be out of breath. But sometimes I just be like, I just cannot talk. Like, I don't know what it is. I can't talk. I can barely breathe. I don't know what it is. They check everything when I'm going to the hospital, when I'm going to the doctors, like for my appointment, stuff like that. And it's just, I'll be having a hard time. Like, I don't know what it is. But anyways, so, what's the first thing that I want to talk about? So, on here, I basically had my 33-week update. Um, selling my mommy bag, maternity shoe coming, just all that stuff. So... Like I did say, I'm 33 weeks pregnant. 33 weeks in a couple days. So on Monday, I'll be 34 weeks. So like I said before, this pregnancy has been really good. It's been really different. Um, like I said, like you know, within the first couple minutes, it's been different. Um, one thing I can say about this pregnancy is that I haven't really been craving seafood. If you know, I love seafood. Like you know, I love blue crabs shrimp mussels crawfish but this pregnancy i haven't really been craving any kind of seafood like i don't know what it is i more so have been craving like snacks and stuff so within the last two weeks of me on my break or whatever i have been craving um from tiktok avocado toast with bacon on there bacon and no bacon and everything what is it called everything bagel seasoning that is so freaking good so what it is, is I get this mossy green bread and it has seeds and stuff like that in there. You can get it from your market. The bread was like $6, I think it was, 6 or $7 when I rounded up. And it's by, what is it called? I don't know, but it's like some kind of whole grain bread with like seeds, like seeds and stuff like that in there. And then I'll take the avocado, put the avocado on there, mush it up, smash it whatever, spread it out on there. Then I'll take some garlic powder, I'll take some salt, and I'll take some pepper, i sprinkle that on there, and then I'll put some bacon on there, and then I'll put some bagel, what is it called? Everything bagel seasoning? That shit bang, like it's so freaking good. It's so good, I like it. And I seen it on TikTok, I actually had it before I got pregnant, I had it when I was going to community college, First out of high school, first year of college. Um, I had it when I was going to DCC, and it was good there. But for some reason, when I seen it on TikTok, and I seen the avocado, it doesn't even want to taste it. And ever since I've seen it, I've been craving it. So I've been craving stuff like that. Uh, ooh, excuse me. Also, my second biggest craving is blueberry crumble pie. So when I was, I think, in middle school or maybe the beginning of high school, my cousin, she bakes everything. Like, she knows how to make everything from scratch. She's big on baking or whatever. And she had made this blueberry crumble pie. 
Yo, when I tell y'all, it's so freaking good. Oh my God, it's so good. So I've been craving it. So I've been going to the market. Um, I get the pie crust. It's already like pre-made. I get the frozen strawberries. It's frozen strawberries. I get the frozen blueberries. I put the blueberries in a bowl, put some flour in there, put some sugar in there and mix it up. Pour it inside the pie crust. Take the, um, what is it called when you put it on top? I guess it'll be the crumble part. Take the crumble part and make that. All you gotta do is have like a stick of butter out. Wait for it to get soft. How do you make the crumble? Okay, so for the crumble part, it's made with a stick of butter. Head the butter sit out. You get some flour, some brown sugar, mix it up, and then like smash the butter in there. Whereas there was like, it's hard to explain, but that joint is so freaking good. Put that on top, put the crumble on top. Put it in the oven. Y'all, it's so good. Like, I eat it every day. Like, it was so bad to the point where, though, last week, I had made two pies. Y'all know it's five days in a week. Like, a week, week, like a work week, Monday through Friday. Five days in a work week. I ate two pies in a work week by myself. Fat. And it was so good. Like, I'll eat it with, like, ice cream, vanilla ice cream. Or eat it with like some whipped cream, y'all. It's so freaking good. But other than that, I haven't really been craving nothing. But there is like a big difference between Harlem and this baby because this baby wants sweets. Harlem and care too much about sweets. She had me craving like seafood, fruit, stuff like that. But this baby, at this pregnancy stage, the end of the pregnancy, I've been craving. Like I can believe I've been craving sweet food. Um, and I also been craving ice. But my cravings with ice has gotten like a little bit less because now I take iron pills because I think some of them are my iron. I don't know. I just know they said I'm like I'm anemic or whatever. So they give me iron pills and they give me a list of things that I can do like to help with my iron or whatever. And I kind of knew that my iron was low because I've been, like I said, I've been really tired. And when I tell y'all I would eat so many cups of ice, it don't make no sense. I would eat so many freaking cups of ice. Um... And then being as though I'm 33 weeks, 34 weeks next week, that means my class is going to be coming, is going to be removed. So if you're new here, um, I do have a cervical saclage input in me. I think you, I think, la, 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 la. so if you guys are new here, um, I do have a cervical saclage. So a cervical saclage is basically like I explained to y'all before, but if you're new, you get a pass. So a cervical saclage is basically like, um, a jawstring bag. Actually, here we go, jawstring bag right here. So, I worry, I don't mess my leg in it. So basically, your service is what holds the baby up, right? So me, oh my God, so I lost it. This is for my life. I'm not gonna take my pictures. So basically, when you're pregnant, you have a baby in your stomach and you have something called a cervix. So your cervix holds the baby. It kind of like, yeah, it holds the baby inside. So me, and I think I get it from my dad's side of the family because my dad, his mom had him at 23 weeks. He was very premature and he was supposed to, I think my dad was like two or three pounds and he was born, he was a miracle baby. Like 23 is, my grandma had a praying grandma. She had a praying grandma. But anyways, so she had went into labor early one. Um, when I had my miscarriage, my first baby, I had went into labor too early. I went to labor at 18 weeks. So I had a miscarriage. And it was because my cervix, I think they said my cervix was shortening or whatever because I literally went into labor. Like my water broke, the placenta fell out. It was crazy. So anyway, basically, what how they explain it to me is, is like, this is your cervix. And then the cerclage is like this. Like it kind of, this ain't good explain. But it kind of tightens it up like this. So whereas though it's like, it's tight. Like it's tight right here. So whatever's inside the bag is not coming out. I get what I'm trying to say. So I get my cerclage put in at 23 weeks. And then you keep it in, you know, through the pregnancy or whatever. And then at 34, 35 weeks, you get your class taken out. So, 
my pregnancy is basically almost over. So when I had Harlem, I got master class taken out and after I got master class taken out, I ain't do nothing. I didn't do nothing but chill, sit down and relax because we didn't want my water to break with my baby shower. So long behold, a week after I got master class taken out, Harlem came, she came 22 days early. She was due June 24th, but she actually came on June 2nd. So now I'm kind of like, you know, being as though I kind of know when my water will break with my past history and stuff like that, I'm kind of like, I'm really excited. I'm not even going to lie. I'm really excited, but I'm kind of nervous because it's like, I just want to make sure I'm at the right place at the right time. It's different because this time I live by myself. I don't live with anybody. I be hearing noises. Maybe it's my neighbor. I don't know. I hate it. Anyway, but yeah, I live by myself. So it's like, if my water break right now, I have to call somebody. So it was like, hopefully I'm at the right place at the right time. And I don't know, I'm just like nervous. And then they told me so I can push this time. So I won't be getting a C-section unless like I need to or I need like a, uh, what is it called? An emergency C-section. I'm going to push. So I'm actually very excited about that. Um, And let me show you my stomach because my stomach is big as hell. I feel like my stomach is huge. So, this is another reason why I know for a fact that my water is going to break, like, soon after I get my cerclage removed. One, because they put the cerclage in because my cervix was shortening. So, when you put the cerclage in, it helps, like, you know, tighten it up so it don't shorten. And because it's like, Harlem came early. And because... If my service was already shortened at 23 weeks and my baby's not that big, I'm pretty sure this baby, like I already know, he heavy now. So it's like, oh, I didn't mean to tell y'all. But yeah, he heavy now. So it's like, he's gonna come. Like he's gonna come in no time. But I'm really excited though. I really can't wait. Even my baby dad sister was like, yo, your stomach is big. Like you're not lasting till December. My due date was December 4th. I bought me and Harlem tickets for November 10th to go see the circus because I want her to go to the circus. So hopefully the baby don't come to after we done at the circus. But yeah, I'm really excited. I can't wait to get my surprise move. I can't wait to my maternity shoot because my maternity shoot, them pictures is cute. Me and Harlem about to eat down real bad. And I really just cannot wait like at all. Um, let me see what else I have on my list. So yeah, um, I just say y'all, my maternity shoot is coming. Me and Harlem will be doing our maternity shoot. So for the next week, we're going to be very, 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 very busy. So that's good because we're going to have content to record and produce. Um, so my maternity shoot is on the 30th. So on the 29th, I actually had to get my hair done and get my nails done. Actually, no, I think on the 29th, I'm going to get my... Hold up, I don't even know. So, yeah, the next thing I want to talk about is my maternity shoot. So, I'm really excited. My maternity shoot is coming up. I have, like, these cute inspirations that I've seen on TikTok that I want to recreate. It's one scene me and Harlem are going to recreate. And then there's one solo scene that I have that I'm going to recreate. And I'm just so excited about it. Like, I'm hyped. I don't know why I'm just so hyped. Like, I just feel like this baby, I feel like every baby has purpose. So, I feel like this baby is going just like, I don't know, like just unlock a different part of me. Like, I don't get it. Like, I don't know how to really explain it, but I'm really, really excited. But anyways, yeah, so me and Harlem have a scene and then I haven't seen by myself. So this week I'm going to just be doing like a lot of running around and stuff like that for the maternity shoot on Saturday. Actually no, Sunday is when I'm gonna start prepping for my shoot. So on Sunday I'm gonna go and get my hair done on the 29th. And then Harlem's cousin is having a birthday party for her first birthday. So I'll be going to that. And it's just, I'm going to have a lot of stuff to do. So it's going to be content after content after content after content after content. Um, what else? <sighs> um, I think I, I feel like, so right here I have down, I want to talk about my mental, but I kind of feel like I already talked to y'all about my mental in, like, in the beginning. Right now, like I said, I'm in like a mental state where it's all like I'm just focusing on me, focusing on me, focusing on my kids, focusing just on like 
you know, what, I don't know. I just feel like this time I'm good. Like, let's see my blades coming out. But yeah, right now I'm just focusing on me. Like, I'm focusing on, I'm not crying over spilled milk. I'm not focused on nothing that I can't change, nothing that I can't fix. Um, I'm more also just trying to embrace the fact that I'm having another baby coming and I'm have three months off. But this time, three months off paid. Not like at UGG uh, where I wasn't getting paid. But this time, I'm having three months off paid. Um, and also, I had been talking about too, like how I'm getting closer to God. I forgot this at the beginning. I'm getting closer to God. So that has that has been that has been. I feel like it's something about my like I don't know what it is. That's why I hate when I don't know. But I feel like that has been helping a lot. And you know what's crazy? Like, I always knew God. I always knew a God, whatever, my whole entire life, ever since I was born. But it's like now that I told myself and I made, like, you know, a me and God had a conversation. And I said, basically, I want to, like, spend more time with him and just strengthening my bond. I feel like that's literally all I've been doing. Like, And I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> and I feel like that helps, too, my mental, because, like I said, I'm an overthinker. And... I just be going through a lot, like, a lot. So, being as though, like, I've been strengthening my bond with him, a lot of things hasn't faced me like it was before. And I'm not really bothered by a lot of things. Like, it's just, I don't know. Like, I feel like this pregnancy just, like, taught me a lot. So, it was like, that's a big factor, too. And I'm just going with the wind. Like, I've been... Lock and more in with you know what I believe in and making time for it because I feel like we make time for everything else You gotta make time for your religion. So I feel like Right now. I'm in a good mental space. I'm just trying to figure out some extra stuff, but I'm fine It's not nothing too crazy. Like I'm not like Overwhelmingly stressed Like I will usually be like I do be stressed sometimes because I be overthinking but like not like overwhelmingly stressed versus like, though like I'm just like what am I gonna do? Like I kinda got it. Whereas though it's like I know God's gonna handle it. So like I'ma stress right now and overthink about it, but then I'll be over it soon. Um I also been receiving a lot of blessings and I like that because it's like right now I feel like I'm in a transformation stage, like I kinda told y'all. So it's like I'm working on discipline because I've seen it. I'm working on discipline and like structure in my life. And it's like, I feel like what he's bringing me through right now is kind of like, I don't know, but it's like every time like, I accomplish like each, I don't know how to explain it, but every time I accomplish like each segment kind of, of each lesson he kind of put me through, I receive a blessing. And I'm really, really, really thankful for that because Lord, oh my God. The past week has been crazy. Not as crazy as it would have been, but it's just been... Cause I, like I said, I do everything by myself. So it's like, it is times where I do be overwhelmed and not be stressed, but it's like, when he be coming through and you you finally receive the expected blessing, but you get it unexpected, like you know what's coming, but you don't know when it's coming, but it show up at the right time. Y'all, it feels so freaking good. <laughs> And it's like, I'm not doing it to receive blessings. Like, whereas it was like, oh, I want to do this so you can bless me in this way. But I am trying to work, like, on becoming closer to God just so I can be more at peace and be at ease and stuff like that. Like, that's what this pregnancy has taught me. Like I said, every pregnancy is different. And it was just, I don't know, like, it's just like, it's just like a part of my day. So it was like, if I'm going to read the Bible on Monday... It's this other Bible that I have. It's like not a Bible, but it's like a little book, like a scripture book or whatever. I have that. I know my phone I'm about to die. But yeah, I have that and it kind of like keeps me, I don't know, it kind of keeps me on track. Like it kind of, basically what I'm trying to say is everything is falling into my days. I don't know, it still pissing me off, but I'm gonna just rock off with it. So anyway, yeah, so I'm not doing a big, oh my God, I don't like this. Like this lighting is ugly. I even don't like it either. You keep moving. My kitchen's all up in the back. And then now I look super dark. Oh my God, what is going on?
Y'all look super dark. Hold up. This is pissing me off a little bit. Alright, so I'm gonna do the stick with this one. I don't really like it. It doesn't match the other one, but whatever. So yeah. Um, anyways, I'm not doing a baby shower with this this pregnancy. I didn't really want to because my parents they paid for Harlem's when I was pregnant with Harlem, they paid for the whole baby shower. And I feel like I just had her like two years ago. Like I feel like they don't have to go all out and pay for another baby shower again. So my mom came in with this idea where she was like, why don't you just have a brunch? So I'm like, all right, I'll do a brunch. So I'm doing a brunch with um, my friends, basically my friends and my, uh, what is it called? Your closest, 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 closest family members. So, and it's gonna be like an all girls brunch. So my brother's not even coming, they come afterwards. So I'm doing a brunch or whatever, but if you guys wanna get me something, I will leave the link down below for my baby registry. And also, I'm going to be doing a, uh, what is it called? It's like, what is it called? I had it in my head before I started the videos. Oh, I'm already going, I'm already, I'm also going to have a link down below where it's so you can help me pick my mommy bag. So if you want to buy me something for the baby or you want to buy me something for my mommy bag, to install my mommy bag, I'm going to link that down below. But you don't got to get nothing. If you want to, though, you can. And then I'll do like a little video where so I'll show you all the stuff that I got. Just in general, even if y'all don't get something, but like I'll show y'all the stuff that I got. So yeah, I'm gonna leave that down below as well. So I'm really excited. I can't wait to pick my mommy bag. I already kind of know what I want to pick on my mommy. What did I name it? I think I think that is what I named named it. I kind of already know what I want to pick on my pack my mommy bag with me. Um, registry or whatever. Actually, I actually got cut that down because that's a little bit too long. But yeah, I already kind of know what I want to have. I know what I want to have done by the time I go into labor. Like, I want to have my eyelashes done. But if I can't have them on, I'll just have some strips. My nails, I got to be waxed. My toes got to be done. My hair got to be done. I got to be looking like that girl when I'm pushing this baby out of me because motherhood is stopping who from looking cute. Oh, this light is really killing me and I don't like it. Like, I hate it so bad. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm trying to think about if I forgot anything. I'm trying to think if I forgot anything. This video really was just to like update y'all, give y'all the rundown, just like kind of tell y'all what's been going on. And a little bit about my pregnancy. I'm going to do another updated video on my pregnancy. Um, this week, so my 34, my 34 week update because I have a doctor's appointment on Thursday. Whereas though they're going to tell me a little bit about, um, you know, just my cyclage being removed, my options of pushing or doing a C-section, if the baby's breached, if the baby's not breached. So I have a lot coming for y'all and I'm very excited about it. But make sure you guys, before the video's over, make sure y'all leave um, comments down below or even DM me and tell me like, what else should I talk about? Cause I'll just be coming up with these ideas out the blue. But I would like it if y'all give me like some other ideas, like questions and, Stuff like that, basically. And then, of course, I'll watch this video back and probably do a part two, writing down, like, things that I feel like I should talk about next time or just things that I feel like I forgot. But my phone dying really threw me off. So I feel like I really, I really hope I'm not forgiving nothing. What is this on me? So I really hope I'm not forgetting anything. I know I'm going to do a video with you guys, like, just doing the kids room so the baby in harlem's room i'm gonna do a video with that i'm also gonna do a what is it called a nesting video where actually it'll probably be the same the nesting video where it's like you know i'm cleaning mopping sweeping getting ready for the baby to come setting the baby stuff up i'm gonna do a pack my labor and delivery bag with me my mommy bag with me and i'm also gonna be doing a i think that's the top oh Behind the scenes of my maternity to shoot, get ready with me. So I have those three videos on hand that I know I'm about to drop for y'all. Y'all gonna like them. But if y'all do have any more ideas, like, you know, any constant ideas, let me know then. But to me, end of the video, make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. Turn my post notifications on because guess what? I discovered that 118 people got my notifications on for when I drop videos. So make sure y'all turn them, bing, turn that join right on so y'all can see when I'm dropping. And if you did already subscribe and you watched to the end, make sure you subscribe. Was it? I forget, y'all. I got a pregnancy brain. I got a pregnancy brain so bad. 
I locked myself out the house and the car twice within a week. So if I keep forgetting things, and I do, please excuse me, because I the real life got pregnancy. Like my brain is mush. I'll be forgetting everything. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.